Welcome to the Every Day is a New Day podcast and live show. The inspirational show about moving forward and choosing to be more of you. Transmuting the self-doubt and stepping into courageously aligned confidence in who you uniquely are. My name is Kim O'Neill. I'm a twice certified transformational confidence coach, Reiki master, best-selling author, and former crime analyst who now helps empathic heart-centered individuals shatter the noise of self-doubt, find clarity on what self-love really looks like, and the courage to be peacefully grounded in who you've always known you are from the inside out. Join me for the live shows on Facebook and YouTube and visit KimO'NeillCoaching.com for more info. Let's get to it. All right, and welcome to another Every Day is a New Day show. My name is Kim O'Neill, and I have a very, very special treat for you today. I'm going to go ahead and bring up today's guest. Welcome to the show, Shishtoff Chechat. Hello. What, what should I say? Uh, good morning. What time is there? Uh, good evening. Um, hello, Kim. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me in your show. I really appreciate it. Uh, Shishtoff, I am so grateful to have you here today. Thank you. You, you are working on a very special project that... Um, I find is just filled with so much beautiful energy. So in fact, before we get to the project, I want to go ahead and just share with everyone a little bit more about who you are and of course, you know, some of your background so they can have a better understanding of, of what led you to the work that you're doing today. Sure. So for all those getting to meet Shishtoff Chechot for the very first time, he is the director and producer of the Audio Bible Super Production, as well as an experienced actor. Shishtoff has produced over 400 hours of dramatized audiobooks, including Game of Thrones, The Godfather, and Blade Runner. He's also the winner of the Best European Audio Play, and today he's going to talk to us about the Audio Bible Super Production. Ah, Shishtoff! Ah. Yes. yes, everything uh, was perfectly present. Thank you so much. This is me. <laughs> I, okay, so Shishtoff, of course, I have questions for you. But um, before we get into that, is there is there anything else you'd like to share with people about who you are and, and what you do? I think this is not important in, uh, right now and at the beginning okay. of our conversation. Uh, I think that... Uh, the, the most important for me is to talk about my work and then people can get something about me from this interview. So yeah, as, as, as you said, I'm a producer, I'm, a, I'm an, an actor in, in, here in Poland. First of all, I'm a father of beautiful uh, daughter and uh, the husband of wonderful wife. So this is, this is me. Beautiful. I hear that you are a very well-rounded, creative person. And of course, working on this amazing awesome project, the Audio Bible Super Production. So I want to ask you first, what inspired this project? Um, thank you for this question. Thank you for that we can start with this question because um, uh, there will be some stories about, I will tell you, uh, I will tell you and you, your audience some stories about, about our project. And I, I, I as I said uh, before we started, I have a two cuts in here. So I'm so sorry for this noise, if you can hear it, but uh, uh, let's go back to your question. Um, you know what, I, I've always wanted to create something significant and, and exceptional. And that was always my goal. As I've been producing audio for 15 years now. So uh, as you said, uh, 10, there was 10, maybe 12 years ago, I directed this Game of Thrones audio book. Because here in Poland, radio theaters, the, the, the dramatized audio are very popular, extremely popular. So, okay. um, but uh, my um, my way, my my goal is not to create the audio. Actually, my goal is to create a movie without the pictures. This is how I call it: uh, movie without the images. Uh, so, uh, this is the first uh, uh, thing. Uh, before I will tell you more about my inspiration. The second thing is, you have to know that in Game of Thrones, which we did, as I said, 12 years ago, there were, there were like um, 100 actors involved in this project. Um, and, and, and at that time, we, we joked that only the Bible was bigger, is bigger 
than the Game of Thrones. Wow. Um, so he, 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 yeah, um, and many, many, many years later, in 2016, it was yeah. Uh, I was uh, I was as, I, as you said, I'm an actor, so I appeared in a bank commercial uh, and made uh, some money. So, as you probably understand, a bank commercial is paying very well. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, so I was like, you know, what, 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 what should I, what I have to do with those money? I mean, buy a new car, buy a new flat, uh, invest in my new home and house. Uh, not working for two years, uh, and I was like, um, yeah, this is the moment I'm ready to do something, which should be, which was my inspiration. It should and should inspire the other people. And okay. that's why I decided to, 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 to create, to start it, the Polish version of the Audio Bible Super Production. And we, it, this is important to say it, um, that this version involved 500 actors and 10,000 extras. Um, so yeah, yeah mm, that was amazing, this indie. Before the huge concert in the huge music hall, 10,000 people, shouted for us uh, uh, for the audio bible polish, uh, for, for the polish version of audio bible few sentences like um the lord is our king or uh, crucified him and stuff like this so uh uh yeah yeah and the next thing is that at this at that time i i could already see that it would be an introduction for the three next productions and the English version, which we are working on, Spanish and Portuguese. Um, and uh, inspiration, I think that the inspiration came from my mind and from my heart, simply. Yeah. Um, this is, you know, we need to develop, we need to make the next step. Each day, every day is a new day. Uh, and, and, and we and we we have to do it. Just develop uh, ourselves and, and and trying to do something uh, important for other people, for the other people, and for the world. I think you started to mention earlier your why about your feeling connected to your why. Did I hear that correctly? Wife, I said about. Oh, your wife. wife. Okay. Okay. Wife. Okay. Okay. Well, what I hear definitely is this. It clearly is a, a passion project for you and um, something that sounds very, very purpose driven uh, to make that lasting positive change on the planet. And I will just say that that's something I definitely felt when I first heard about the project. I thought, whoa, this is this is huge. Um And one of the things I, I really love about the project, one of the things that I think makes it even more special to me and, and likely to other people too, is that you aren't incorporating just people who are, are Christians or, or um, right? You're incorporating people from all faiths and all backgrounds into the production mm -hmm. of this project. Will you say a little bit more about that and, and tell us tell us why? Um, Actually, I, I, I have no idea why I decided to do it, to be honest. The, the idea behind of this was like the Bible is for everyone, so it should be created for uh, by everyone, for everyone. I mean, uh, the Bible is not only for the Christians, it's not only for the believers. The Bible is also for non-believers. The Bible is like, you know, like the, like, uh, like, like the, uh, the best... Uh, TV series in Netflix. I mean, the Bible has uh, a lot of beautiful stories, and, and 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 we decided to do it with also non-believers. To we, we we invited also non-believers just to be sure that we are not missing any point of view, any any people. This is like. Um, our slogan and uh, in, in our motto in English version is the Polish version motto was let me translate it uh, listen what you can can read uh, what you can read in the Bible listen yourself and the English version uh, motto is the 
the audio bible super productions super super production sorry uh, stories that unite so uh, we need to unite we need to involve to this project anyone everybody who who feels that it's important somehow um, for them so yeah yeah that, that's why we decided to to make uh, to create this uh, contest i will tell you something more about our contest which we have that's why we uh, in the polish version as i said we have a, a 500 um not actors actually 500 voices 300 450 there were there were uh, like uh, professionals okay and 100 uh, and 150 were like amateurs uh, nurse, uh, uh, policeman, CEO, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, imagine the, the occupation and we, 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 we had this person. Mm, and, and I think there were also rabbis and people from the Down syndrome community and agnostics. Exactly, exactly. The rabbi, the chief rabbi of, of Poland read the Exodus book with uh, the part of Exodus book with the prime prime bishop of Poland. So they were like, we are the rabbi. And there was something like, we are like uh, old and young brothers in, 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 from the same roots. So that's why we, we, are, we, we invited the rabbi and the prime bishop of Poland to this project. Yeah, the agnostic. I, I, was, I was going to tell about this story that I remember I was sitting on my couch in my studio, recording studio, and, uh, and, and, and on my left hand was a woman, she was truly believing God, and on my other, on my right hand was a, a person who doesn't believe in a God, and they were playing together in some book, I, I can't remember right now which book it was, but I was so proud of this moment. You know, believers and non-believers, actually agnostic. Uh, and and I and and, and I, when I ask this person, you know, you are not believing in God. Why do this, you decided to join us? And the answer was like, because Bible is everywhere for for everybody, and I I respect you, and you have to respect me. So that's why I decided to join you. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's work. It works. That is beautiful. I I love that your answer is that you don't know why. And I'm just hearing that you went with the flow. You really tapped into that energy of love and I'm going to say inspired guidance or divine guidance. Mm -hmm. um, being led by God. Um, I, you know, I even, I shared with Delphina that I have a religious upbringing, but today as an adult, I identify more with being more spiritual than religious. Mm -hmm. And, and, um, and even so the Bible, I mean, I've never not had a Bible on my bookshelf. I think the Bible mm -hmm. is a, a, a beautiful work of love. That's ultimately what I see when I get out of it. And mm -hmm. that's what I hear you speaking to, especially to hear that story of an, an agnostic saying mm -hmm. it's for everyone. I mean, that's beautiful. That's a gift. Um, may mm -hmm. I ask you what, what faith are you? I, uh, of course, uh, it is very, very important question and an obvious one, uh, considering this project. Um, but uh, before I will ask you this question, I need to emphasize that the Audio Bible Super Production respects all personal beliefs, worldviews, um, political preferences, and, 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 and so on. This is the most important thing in our production, in our project. The purpose uh, of our project is to reach people for, of all backgrounds and religions and spiritual and faith. We are going, we are going to be everywhere, actually. Uh, and, and our team believes um, in the shared values of ecumenism, art, and, and creat creativity. So um, I have to I have to mention something more. That this is why I didn't uh, and I don't ask the actors or, or co-workers um, about their beliefs because I'm personally convinced this, these are intimate matters uh, to uh, us all. And if people wanted to share them, of course, they could. But to me, these, the, these are 
these are not the mothers that are important in this production. And I personally believe in humanism, that we should be simply be shining good people. Mm. Respect. You're respecting people's right to privacy. And, and if they want to open up and share, they can. If they don't, they don't have to. Uh, shish tough. And, yes. And, and, and I need to explain why. Because there is something like mm, when you are, uh, um, when people ask you about your faith, they are trying to put you in some uh, tribe. Let me say, okay, you are Christian, you are spiritual, you are agnostic, okay, you are, we are from the different tribes. Um, and me as a producer, I need to be, and I want to be, and this is what I truly believe, for everyone. I need to, I have my, I need to have my uh, uh, arms open and say something like, come on, well, th this is the only one rule, you have to respect the other people. Yes. Oh, okay. So, so I, I first want to acknowledge, okay, you, you, I can't believe you completed this massive project in Poland and then you still had energy to create now a second one and knowing that you have two more that you want to create after this. How did you feel after you created the first one? Did you have to take a break at all? Or? Yeah, very tired, very depressed. Uh, okay. To be honest, I mean that cost me a lot. Uh, that was uh, I, I. I didn't realize when when we were working. You know, when you are working on on something like the audio Bible super production, and uh, which involved five hundred people, ten thousand extras, a uh, mm, lot of money. It cost us a lot of money, and, and so on. But like in, in in let me say in a high. You know, you are going day after day, uh, working, working, working on 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 your project and when we uh when we launched our project i was like oh my gosh what what next i mean i was like that take that that took me three years of my life and it was like three years just uh flow times flies very quick so time flies very quick so i was Mm, not li literally, literally depressed, but of course I was like, um, I felt very tired and I was thinking that this was my first step because I was, I planned the, the um, English version, the Spanish and the Portuguese and I was like, no, no way, I, I won't do it, I won't do it. This is the last version I did and that's, that's, that's the end, Krzysztof. And then... I got, I received so huge impact of positive energy from the audience. Oh. There were 2 million downloads, 2 million people downloaded our audio because of the quality of this audio. And I was like, oh my gosh, they gave me back the energy I put in this production. And then I realized that this is the, this is the goal of my life actually. To, to, to give the people uh, uh, some energy and to, to, to make uh, people happy, um, to make people uh, happy with the, themselves. So, yeah. Yeah. This is how, how I was. Um, and, and the next thing is, um, of course, I wasn't... Uh, we are we are talking about me, but we have to remember there were like another. I'm trying to count it, uh, ten maybe, fifteen people around me. Now is much more. The the team is much more bigger, but I wasn't alone there. So there were uh, another ten depressed people. What next? <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm trying to joke about this, but. Uh, yeah. The, that was that was a beautiful moment in my life actually when i finished it i know i realized what next and then yeah. after two three months i received so many emails the the, the, the facebook uh, the, um, the, the, the 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 social media actually load up about this we, we were like in 
each television, each uh, newspaper, each radio station. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. It's not about, of course, the, um, I'm not a celebrity. So this is not what I'm talking, what I want to say. The, the I hear what you're saying. Is, the point is that people truly loved our work. It was, yes, it sounds like it was received very well. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's that's kind of wanted to, what I wanted to ask you on the flip side at the very beginning of it. Um, clearly, you felt very passionate about this, and a lot of other people got on board with it and creating it. But did it take a while to get people on board with supporting this project, or did it happen? Did it come together pretty quickly? Um, when I, I I told you that uh, I made some money. And I started this project alone with my own money, uh, but I needed at that time I needed ten uh, times more uh, than I had. So yeah, we there is something in Poland uh, which is like Kickstarter, uh, uh -huh. some 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 platform like Kickstarter, and it it wasn't like a like a snowball. Uh, okay. Day after day, there were uh, the first day were, were like ten people. Uh, the week uh, later was one hundred people, wow. uh, and we finished with two million downloads. Uh, so yeah. uh, we you you have to remember that the Polish version took us three years of work. So there were there were uh, a lot of time to gather. A lot of people, many people, okay. sorry, uh, to, to this project, but it, it, it wasn't like you know, it, 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 it wasn't like a massive attack of people from the very beginning. It was like yeah. snowball who he is, why this actor is doing it. We, we need to remember that I'm not maybe popular, but people recognize me here in Poland. And why he's doing it, why he's doing it without the church, without the he's doing it for for his own money and uh, okay it's strange mm, but then we convinced convinced people with, with quality of our sound I think people like knowing that that backstory of how something came together right it's the, it can be um, easy to just assume that this massive project you know had all the right resources from the very beginning mm -hmm. and I think it's fascinating to hear that you said well yes you had some of your own money um, and then it was a Kickstarter that other mm -hmm. people gradually contributed to over time mm -hmm. and that's inspiring so so thank you for sharing that and then when we uh uh, when we received some money from uh, received money from the people, that we, uh, we 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 got some states money, and then we had a sponsors. Nice. Uh, okay. And then we received the other money, and you know we started with one dollar, and it's uh, it's uh, open open. It's correct. What I'm saying, it's open information. I mean, this is the information which is in uh, you, you can easily find in Google. So uh, I, I I can tell you that. This production called as called uh, cost us uh, five thousand five thousand no uh, five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, 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 okay. So, is there anything as you've gone through this project and now you're on the second one here uh, in in English? You're doing it in English. What's something you didn't expect to learn about yourself or the world through this project? Does that bring up anything for you? Um, I told you about this um, Game of Thrones. Um, I I will tell you a story, if I may. Yeah, um, please. Um, I told you about this advertising uh, of one bank uh, and, 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 and about those money I, I invest in this project. And I remember this moment when I told to my co-workers, hey guys, listen, we are going to do a bubble. And they were like, okay, they were thrilled, it, okay, uh, because they they thought that we are going to create some single voice with the sound. And I then I told them, no, no, guys, we are, I'm going to hire to this project to like 300, maybe 500 people. And they were, okay, Krzysztof, but how? Uh, 
and then I was I, I told them and I and I do remember this uh, this moment I told them I, uh, listen uh, guys in, in small steps step by step we need to do it in step by step that's what I've learned uh, that uh, you you get on Empire State Building in in in, in small steps um, um, and yeah, I, I understand. I I didn't actually answer your question, but somehow I did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> had had you had you done had you been um, had you embraced the idea of doing things in small steps before doing the audio Bible super? No. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Why? Because the, I, um, I haven't had uh, uh, experience uh, which I needed to do it. So the, the Polish version uh, taught me uh, a lot. Uh, uh, I'm not the businessman, businessman okay? I, I, uh, I'm an actor. Uh, I graduated from Polish National Film School acting department, not for some MBA or the economical studies. So. I had to learn it by myself, everything. Of course, I have a good lawyers, I have a good account manager in my team, and and of course, they, they help me a lot, but um, no, the, the, this, uh, this, this production, this Polish version was my first serious, I don't want to be, I, I don't want to offense the other production, I don't want to be not so, um, um, uh, fair for the other productions, but that was the, that was my first big step. Yes, you it it sounds like you opened yourself to um, to of course growing because you were challenging yourself to do this much bigger thing you felt inspired to do, and so in doing that we 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 grow and we learn new things about ourselves. So that's that's what I hear. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I think that this is. We need, we need to, I, this is about me. I am repeating constantly to myself that the problem that we, I have to remember to not mm, fear, fear, uh, to not think uh, negative about something. This is the most important. Of course, it was like, it was crazy idea to do it, you know. Five hundred people involved in one project. Wow, it's it, 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 it sounds very weird. But why not? The answer. On the other hand, why not? Yeah. What, what, why? Let's let's do it. If you want to do something, just do it. I think well, it's important. I I I love it because the. You know, one of the things I like to highlight in this show is um, the importance of being who they are and allowing themselves to be more of who they are and expand into those things that maybe they haven't yet done. And that's what you're speaking to is, is you're saying, wait a second, I wasn't trained in this, you know, how to do all this. I was an actor and I still chose to take that next step into something bigger. And along with it, I grew. And I think it's, I think it's, I think it's awesome. So, so thank you for answering that question. Yeah, if I can add something, yeah. you know, I think that our imagination is the most important thing in our life. We have to believe in ourselves and have imagination about everything. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very important. Well, <laughs> Shishtof, that brings me to the, the theme of the Everyday is a New Day show this year is Let Your Light Shine. And in March 2021, I did launch the Let Your Light Shine movement, which is all about inspiring and empowering people to be more of their authentic self, because when they are themselves, they naturally organically shine. And so I love to ask my guests this year, what does letting your light shine mean to you? Um, to be honest, be, be yourself. You have to be honest uh, with yourself and with the other people. Mm. Whoever you, you are, whatever you think, whatever you believe, whatever you feel, whatever you love, whatever you feel, whatever you are going to say, or if you are 
still re uh, remain in silence. That's okay. You have to be yes. who you are, and uh, and you have to respect the other people because they want to be who they are. So I think that would. I'm trying to say something smart, but I, I would, uh, from from my from the bottom of my heart, we have just only one life. Yes. And it, you know, I'm 42 years old, and today is a, a child day in Poland. I don't know if it was the child day. I mean that the, we are celebrating the our old children. Uh, and I was playing with my daughter today. She is two years old, and I was like, oh my gosh. She is two years old now. Wow, the time flies so quickly. And I have, I, I'm 42. There is no time to not shining, guys. There is no time for not shining, I think. Beautiful. Thank, thank you for sharing that. I completely agree. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so... Shishtof, I I've, have more questions for you, but let's talk a little bit more about the contest because this is a really exciting, um, fun aspect to this massive project, the recording of the Bible in English Absolutely. that you're doing. And, and, and so you're, you know, you mentioned earlier, you of course are including professional actors, but there's an opportunity for people from every state in the United States to exactly. be right be part of it uh, tell us just tell us more tell everyone in your words about the contest first of all i need to mention that we already recorded 130, 130 voices actors professionals from los angeles we are uh, very close to start the record, recording session with a list actor uh, oscar actor who will play a god in our production we also mm -hmm. wanted uh, involved in this project female voice um, I need to tell you something more about this. That um, that 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 uh, the New Testament and the Acts uh, will be narrated by a woman, because uh, there is so uh, few uh, woman voices in in audio Bible in the Bible. Sorry, and I was like, we need to do something about this, uh, and we need to put this. Uh, masculine the men's book in uh, female um, in, into into a form of female voices so that's why i decided to 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 do it that the the, the, the new testament uh, and the acts will be narrated uh, by a woman as i said uh, uh, what else it's important before i'll tell you something more about the contest you have to remember that our angels um speak with the voices of both men and women and also okay. a child of course the angel's name are like gabriel or uh or Raphael, but we don't know if they were a man because they are an angel so that's why we combine two voices in one voice uh just also to put some female uh aspects for female sound in the bible and and as I said, the the other Bible so the production is the the production. This is the project which has to, which want to be a project uh, uh, uniting people. Uh, we, we, the 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 other Bible super production. As I said, this is the, uh, the, the our slogan, our motto. This is the stories that unite. So we have to invite. To, I would like to invite to this project one hundred people amateurs who were never earn money with acting which is important okay uh, you, you of course you 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 can't have you know anyone did some show in high school or uh, whatever but uh, this is the space this is the room for amateurs um, nice. uh, and, and and as I said, anyone uh, can, can participate in this contest. Uh, uh, anyone can sort of participate in this contest and be a part of this incredible project. We would like to invite to this project one hundred people, both fifty women and men from each state uh, of United States. Uh, actually, we are going 
um, further if you are living in Australia and you are listening to this podcast of course you can join us too mm, mm, you, 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 what, what do you have to do guys you just simply go to the audiobiosuperproduction.com and then check out the details there is everything about this contest and be brave and be shine and 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 join us join with this production it uh, will be something significant and important and i'm as in, i truly believe it in as, as i said about the polish version it's like uh, in, in here in poland it's something like you know it's like like, like tesla in the united states you know this is not new car this is a tesla so, <laughs> I love that. this is not new brand of car this is a tesla the, the yes one. it is uh, so um, I think that uh, it, 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 it will be something significant for you too. It could be something significant for you too. So please, guys, join us. Absolutely. So, yes, I want to re just repeat that for everyone. The audio by so audio Bible super production dot com. Go to that yeah. website. You can learn more about the project and more about the contest. And the contest is pretty easy to uh, to participate in. I you know I checked that out and so. I love it. I love it. Love it. Um, let me see if there's any other questions around that, uh, that people might be inquiring. Uh, what about amateurs from other English speaking countries? You, you did mention Australia can also co contribute. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, and mm -hmm. Let's go, uh, I'm so sorry. I interrupt you. Continue. Sorry. No, 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 that's okay. I, I, um, yeah, I just, I like, I'm thinking of, of Canada, uh, and of uh, England, and of course. Uh, why? There is a in the Bible. I will tell you why, uh, why we decided to do it. In the Bible, it's like one thousand something, one one thousand something roles, and there are like uh, there is a lot of Israelites, a lot of uh, small parts, which can be told, played uh, with any accent of English. You can even live in South Africa and join us, in Nigeria uh, and join us. Uh, this is okay. not about the accent. This is about right. the people who want to participate in this project. Okay, so so as, as long as a person speaks English and they're an amateur, if they want to be part of it, they can join the contest. Exactly. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Again, so that's audiobiblesuperproduction.com. So, so cool. Okay. Um, how, how else can people support the project? In addition to being a part of it, how else can they support it? Uh, share us. Uh, share the uh, news about us. Uh, share the links about us. You can also uh, buy uh, uh, our audio before it will be launched. Uh, I mean, there is a pre-sale all, um, also in our uh, audio bible superproduction.com which support our project of course we uh, we have uh, in this case uh, there is um, they are there is a um, there is an investor actually are investors um, but be, but still uh, we still wanted to this, to make this project bigger and bigger and bigger so any contribution will be uh, help, will help us to achieve this uh, this goal um send your opinion send an email uh, sub subscribe us uh, tell uh, about us your friend your family your uh, i don't know your uber driver uh, spread the word spread the word exactly about okay. us this is the most important uh, thing uh, for us. Okay. Now. Awesome. Well, uh, I have here one of the promo videos about um, about the Audio Bible Super Production, and mm -hmm. of course, that also speaks to the contest. And so, mm -hmm. I'd like to go ahead and show that to everybody if they haven't yet seen it. So, stay Absolutely. stay right there. I'm going to go ahead and pop that up that up on the screen, and here we go. Great. Let me actually take this down, and here we go. The most powerful stories that have been told for thousands of years are going to be heard like never before. 
immersive ambiance of the Holy Land, uncompromising quality of 3D sound, 250 passionate voices, one book that shaped the history of the mankind. Yes, you, O oh Lord my God, have done many wondrous deeds, and in your plans for us, there is none to equal you. I think that was incredibly unique about this project. I've never worked on a project that has casted that many voice actors. And, you know, there's a lot of incredible names. And I, I'm sure I'll find out once this comes out about some voice actors that were in it that, that will kind of boggle my mind and be like, whoa, that's really cool. It's kind of neat to know that there's people from all over the world really involved in this project. Join us on this breathtaking journey. Win a role in the world's biggest audio play. Take part in the contest now. The Audio Bible Super Production. Stories that unite. <laughs> I love my team. They did. I, I, I haven't seen this video, to be honest. Not so, I, 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 uh, I've seen some... Um, some when they started to work about this, but uh, I, as I understand, Delfina sent you this link. So, she yeah, did. They, they they did a great job. I called them tomorrow morning. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely, they did do a great job. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, pop a little image here up on the screen. You can see between okay. our faces. Um, this is what uh, what one of the advertisements for the project looks like. And uh, so people can, yes, exactly. Just become familiar with the, the images, see the logo at the top there. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, this project is, is just hugely inspiring. And I saw you with that big smile on your face as you were watching it. Um, is how what's different for you in creating this English version versus the Polish version? I mean, now that you already know what what to experience and what the process is like, and is there something new about this one than there was the the first one? Um, lot of things, lot of things. First of all, the most important is that because of my um, English, um, I'm 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 a producer. But, uh, and the director, but there are much more um, people around me who speaks fluently in, in English, and I'm not the only one who uh, uh, who uh, who is a uh, who, who is giving the last magic touch. Let me say like this with the yeah. audio quality, which is good. Why? Because um, my sound engineers they have uh, they uh, their own perspective, their own, their own feelings about the audio. Mm, the second thing, uh, um, we, 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 you need to uh, understand it, that we are, I am in Poland, which is uh, like 40 million citizens, okay? Okay. And now we are aiming uh, in one, not maybe one, but 500 millions of people uh, with this project, which makes me, uh, <sighs> I'm, I'm breathing heavily when I'm thinking about this. Um, uh, it's a lot to take in, a lot to process that you are at the helm of this. Yes. And you're doing uh, a great job allowing your team to support you. you and kind of continue to be part of it. It's not all on Shishtoff. Yeah, exactly, exactly, and this is uh, this is a huge lesson for me. Just you know, put this, uh, just not to have my hands in in any aspect of my production. Just give the people space, room to do it. So, but the differences, the differences are uh, there is a there is a there is there are a lot of differences. Uh, differences, is it correct? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Mm, between uh, English and Polish production, uh, we I need to mention about the Formosa Studio, the Formosa Group from Los Angeles, the studio uh, which uh, uh, recorded for us um, uh, those uh, one hundred thirty voices. Uh, they gave us, they gave me a huge lesson of uh, of professionality, of professional work. Okay. Um, 
I thought I do like the new expression which I have from you guys work of art uh, they were constantly repeating you are doing work of art Christoph and I was like work of art yeah thank you so much <laughs> and in that, it's not about me I I am mm, I'm, I'm learning you guys uh, I mean uh, I mean American citizens American people the, this is the a totally different way of thinking living everything is quite different and like and and I'm so grateful about this this makes me a new not maybe new person but somehow a new person uh, and I'm we do that I'm, to each other. Yeah, so thank probably. thank you for lending your the gift of who you are to yeah. America as well. Yes. And I'm a teacher in the Polish National Film School. I have a classes. I'm a professor in the acting department. And I'm talking to and I'm and I'm uh, yeah I'm talking to my students like uh, each story which I had with a uh, U.S. Russian with, with U.S. people with U.S. co-workers and. Uh, and give them the, the power to, you know, you need to cross yourself, guys. Don't be a Polish artist. You have to be worldwide artist. I, I have no opportunity because of my English, but your English is perfect because I'm from communism time and I, I, I have learned English when I was 20, 25 years old. You were learning your English is, you, you, you were close to English um, language for, uh, you, you have born, you, 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 you are from the very beginning of your life with English, so you, you don't have uh, this beautiful uh, East uh, European accent which I have. So you have a chance to be an artist. And yeah, uh, as I said uh, in, our dis in our discussion, our imagination should take us everywhere. Yeah. I just want to say I think you speak English very well, and it's always inspiring to me to hear about anybody who who takes time, especially outside of school when they're required to learn another language, to learn another language um, so they can communicate with others, uh, you know, across the world, um, j just as an adult in their own time. So that is Thank a gift so to. You are very kind. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Well. We are nearing the end of our conversation. I do want to be mindful of your time here. You. Um, what is your vision for how people experience the audio Bible? Is there anything um, that we haven't quite touched on that? Yeah, go ahead and share. Um, I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm very, um, what I'm trying to do to to be as much humble as this, uh, as I can, and I'm sure that we are creating a very good tool, and you have to decide it. What do you want to do with this tool? We are going to we are creating uh, the, the high high quality three D audio sound audio production, which is based on the Bible. But it's not about the religion. It's not about about your faith. It's about what you really want to have from this production. So use it as you want. But as I said, and I I need to repeat it. Please respect uh, the other people who believe in God, and please respect the other people who uh, uh, who doesn't believe in God. Just, 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 just. I love knowing that. I love knowing that that is the um, perspective of the creator behind this massive project filled with so much love. There's, I think so many more people are going to feel accepted mm -hmm. for who they are mm -hmm. and hearts are going to be opening in bigger ways to understanding that such a beautiful project, a work of art <laughs> that, <laughs> that is being creative is also created with this understanding that all people are, are bright, the bright lights that they are, are respected as they are. And I just, mm -hmm. I think it's awesome. So, so thank you. Thank you for 
go ahead. I just want to tell you something which I, I received some. Um, I need to tell you about this 3D sound something. A, a few, a few, sure. a few live, a few things okay. about this that we, uh, people. Can, what, what is this actually? The 3D sound. You just need to have your own headphones. Uh, there is no need to have a high quality headphones. Uh, whatever headphones you have, that's okay. This is the first important thing. Um, and 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 the thing is that this uh, this uh, uh, that our um, audio production, our Biblia allows allows to the, allows the listeners to create their own version of these stories and project them uh, in their imagination. Because we are going to take you, we are going, to, we are. We, are, we takes our listeners into the stories we, with this 3D sound, which is which is floating around your head. And please try, uh, guys. You have to try um, our um, Revelation book, which is for free, of course, in YouTube channel. Ooh. And I will send you Kim the link for it. Please share it. There yes. Ninety minutes long journey um, with 3D sound, and you will simply. Uh, understand how okay. immersive this audio is. Um, it, yes, it, it, the clips that are already out there are amazing. It's it's literally like listening to a movie, mm -hmm. um, but it's an audiobook. It's very fascinating how you did that. And since you just mentioned that Revelations is 90 minutes, how long is the entire Bible, or do you anticipate it to be? We, we are anticipating it should be like 110 hours. Wow. 110 hours. Okay. The Polish version is 113 hours, but English okay. is shorter than Polish. So okay. I assume it, it should be like this, which is, okay. of course, it's important. And I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm talking That's too okay. much. No, no. So okay. Um, when, when we finished uh, the Polish version of the audio Bible, uh, many people wrote to us that uh, they always felt that the Bible uh, was too long, too complex, even boring. And 100. 13, uh, uh, 13 hours of audiobooks. Wow. And it's not so long. You have to imagine that you just need to, we are going to, I'm going to work one hour each day. Okay. Uh, one yes. way, one way, one way, one hour, one way. Um, I just go back home to, to, to my home back. So it's like two hours, of course. There is no chance to listen two hours because I have a phone calls and still like this. But it means that I, need to have just only um, let me count it 50 60 days only which is three months of work yeah and you can listen this 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 bible and you can learn and understand what is in it what is what, what the bible is uh, what, what is the bible Awesome. Well, Shishtof, thank you so much for being thank here and sharing with us about the Audio Bible Super Production today. Um, when, when do you anticipate the project to be completed? Is there a, a date? We are aiming to launch this project uh, on December, December 15, I guess. Okay. Uh, but uh, I, I, we, we, we are doing everything to have this uh, uh, project launched uh, on December, but of course, I'm very curious. I'm, I'm, I'm very. We are living in COVID time, okay? So right. you, you, we cannot play planning anything because there is some some uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, things which uh, unknowns uh, unknowns which uh, yeah. doesn't depend on on us. So on December, I, I hope this year, of course. Okay, got it. So December 2021 anticipated. And I think by now we all know how to be more flexible with, uh, you know, in the time of the pandemic. So, um, so that's why that's why I'm asking you guys, I, I, I propose you guys to um, subscribe to our uh, newsletter, and you will receive uh, each week, you will receive some information about us. Thank you so much for sharing this audio Bible super production dot com. Uh, 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 others, thank you so much. Absolutely, yes. So sign up for that newsletter at audio at audiobiblesuperproduction dot com. Definitely. Well, Shishtov, thank you for being here today. Thank you, you so much, King. I, 
you're so kind and polite and clearly um, really good at at putting this together, even if it wasn't part of your your background and your training. So um, thank you for bringing this gift to the world. It is very inspiring. And I want to remind everyone that if you have not yet joined the Let Your Light Shine movement, you have an open invitation for that as well. And that link is up on the screen, bit.ly forward slash Let Your Light Shine movement. And remember, wherever you are today does not have to be where you are tomorrow. Every day is a new day. And <laughs> Shishtof shared a fascinating story about him expanding himself into such a massive project that is such a gift to the world. And that is what each and every one of you are as well. You are that gift to the world. And I thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. I'll see you again on a, an upcoming episode or Inspirational Message Monday. Have a wonderful day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye Thank for now. Thank you so much.